All right, Shannon, it is Heavy Hitter time. A Fat Tuesday edition of the Heavy Hitters. Cosmo Massaro, Ovanino Associates. Do I even want to know how you're celebrating Fat Tuesday? Uh, I'm observing it in a uh, modest fashion. As you as you are wont to do now. Peter Catch is the Boston Phoenix. You'll have a heart healthy breakfast, I'm sure, my friend. Mm, somewhere. Uh, before Big we get watch. into the topics, by the way, you just saw Wayne Johnson's house up in Marblehead being demolished. If you're Wayne Johnson, what do you do? <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm building something with uh, cinder blocks and concrete and uh, maybe, <laughs> exactly. start, maybe starting a halfway house or a uh, methadone clinic. I, I painted pink and purple. <laughs> exactly. And I put, like, spikes and torture devices in the lawn. Sorry, I'm collecting maybe a car up on cinder blocks in the front. Permanent lawn. Christmas. Per- Rent to college students. Permanent Christmas decorations. Rent to Salem State students. I like the way you're thinking there. Lawn Peter gnomes, Dan. lawn jockeys, neon signs. There you go. Good, good advice. Sage advice, boys. All right, let's start with Mitt Romney as we get into some political discussion now. Because another rough week for Mitt Romney. Stop me if you've heard this one before. Had to spend $17 million last month. Don't know what came of that. He He's now losing nationally to Rick Santorum by eight points in some polls. Had a little speech about why he loves Michigan. Cosmo, what struck you this week? <laughs> Hearing Mitt Romney talk about what he loves about Michigan makes me think about what I love about Massachusetts. You know, the, I love the roads. They're nice and flat with the appropriate seven-degree crown in the middle. <laughs> all the buildings are the right height. They're the perfect height, all the buildings. And i got to tell you, when I think of Massachusetts, all the great neighborhoods, all the cyclists, I love bicycles. I can look at any bicycle and tell you who makes it. You got your Schwinge. You All got your right, I've got enough you got of your you. Huffies. I, you, know, I, you just wanted to say Huffy. <laughs> Peter Cadges, this is going to stick with Mitt Romney, the height of trees quote, is it not? Well, yeah. It's saying he likes the trees in Michigan because they're tall may not be as bad as Ronald Reagan saying trees cause pollution, but it's up there. I mean, if Romney comes off as being. Uh, in articulate seven-year-olds. I mean, it, he does. It, he did it, there. It's it's a continual embarrassment. So here's the question: Everyone keeps saying, "Are the Republicans really going to nominate Rick Santorum?" And if the feeling is no, is Romney going to get enough delegates, or are we going to have a brokered convention? Cause what seems crazy to think about it, but yeah, he's got real front runner, runner syndrome here, and I've always felt he's the most uh, outfitted candidate to beat Barack Obama, but he's proving week in and week out that he may well not be. So I think at the convention there's going to be a lot of things that could happen. None of it can be good for the Republicans because that kind of chaos going into the general election, you don't. Peter, as a guy who sometimes likes to rip the Republican Party, are you wetting your whistle, licking your lips, thinking about a Jeb Bush nominated at a brokered convention? No, I don't buy the brokered convention. It, it's always a possibility. But I think that's something we in the press um, like to promote. Over. Yeah, that we, we hope, hope, hope. Listen, it's a long and nasty road to win the Republican nomination. Speaking of roads, let me hold you right there, because Joe Biden is going to get on a road. It's going to take him to an island, at least if you believe his press people. He says he's off to Rhode Island, but his press statement spells Rhode Island R-O-A-D, Peter. You spent a lot of time down in the Ocean State. What were your thoughts on this? Well, my thought was simple. The press release was obviously written by someone from Rhode Island, (laughs) where, you know, their school is not no children left behind. All children are left behind. <laughs> wow. That was a shot. <laughs> Someone was drinking roadies on the way to Rhode Island and they spelt the name wrong. I think that um, I, I think some I think they need a proofreader there in the uh, in, in Biden's press department. I was afraid you're going to go on a speech about what you love about Rhode Island. I'm glad you didn't. Uh, quickly, uh, just got 30 seconds left. Four dollar a gallon gas coming soon to a theater near you. Maybe five dollar a gallon gas, and yet President Obama sits back and smiles at what the Republicans are doing. Would you have ever believed a storyline like this? You know, probably not, although the fluctuations in gas prices can be really, really unpredictable. That, those kind of impacts on the economy, things you can't control, it's too bad because there really are good signs. Unemployment is certainly down here in Massachusetts. It's trending down nationwide. There are good signs. There's some concerning signs. People are loading up on debt again. That should be worrisome. But um, those kind of out-of-pocket day-to-day costs really, really hit the consumer. True or false, Peter Cadge, is $5 a gallon gas, and the fear of it is why you don't drive. False. <laughs> False. I don't, Quickly. I don't, listen, um, the, the, the high price of gas is because of fears that Israel is going to attack Iran. It's as simple as that. To uh, counteract those fears, Obama opened up 1.5 million acres of land, uh, of ocean rather, uh, in the Gulf of Mexico for drilling. Um, it's a big and complicated story. Peter Cadge of the Boston Phoenix, Cosmo Massaro, Vanille Associates. They're the heavy hitters. Fox 25 News at 8 starts right now.